thousands of Indians sacrificed their lives in the struggle of the country's freedom. They fought for their dignity and self-rule, eventually winning the freedom to run their own country after a long struggle. And once freedom was achieved, it was time to lay down the groundwork for governance, enacting the constitution of the land. This is our own constitution, the largest handwritten constitution in the world. The original draft of the constitution was neither typed nor printed, but the best calligraphers and artists were engaged to depict the rich heritage of the country. This original draft bears the fragrance of freedom and the touch of the fingers of those calligraphers and artists. Sri Pre Bihari Narayan Rai Zada, a noted calligraphist, wrote every word of the original English version of the Constitution of India in his beautiful handwriting in flowing italic style on handmade parchment paper. The paint stacking exercise went for almost three years. The English version of the handwritten Constitution of India consists of 221 calligraph sheets and weighed about 13 kg. The Hindi version comprises 252 calligraph sheets and weighed about 14 kg. It was calligraphed by Sri Basantara Vaidya. Each page of these calligraphed versions was embellished beautifully by noted artist Sri Nandilal Bose, who assigned the work to his favourite disciple Byohar Ram Manohar Sina from Vishwabharti Shantini Ketan in West Bengal. Bose and Sina used narratives from the ancient Vedas, Mahabharat and Ramayan and also depicted India's journey to the freedom through the tales of Mahatma Gandhi and Subhash Chandra Bose. The original Hindi and English versions of the Constitution of India are kept today in a vault-like room in the Library of the Parliament of India in New Delhi. Bound in the first-class Morocco leather embossed in gold, the two original handcrafted versions of the Constitution of India are well preserved in the pristine condition. Preserving the original handwritten versions of the Constitution of India, the English and Hindi version required scientific preservation solutions. And so, in the early 80s, the first institution that the Parliament Library turned to for export consultations was the New Delhi-based National Physical Laboratory. The Getty Conservation Institute in USA was also consulted. Finally, experts zeroed in on the concept of hermetically sealed glass cases under an inert gas atmosphere. This would ensure that the original handwritten copies of the Constitution of India were protected from damages resulting from oxidation, microbial deterioration and air pollution. In March 1994, two hermetically sealed display cases were installed at the Parliament Library, in which were safely displayed the original handwritten documents of the Constitution of India. The glass display case is maintained at a constant relative humidity of 40 to 50 percent. The chamber is filled with nitrogen gas containing less than 1 percent oxygen. The climate of the room is controlled to maintain a temperature of nearby 20 degree and nearby 30 percent relative humidity throughout the year. A trace oxygen analyzer connected to a data logger was installed in each nitrogen filled cases for monitoring oxygen leakage into it during performance evaluation. Even today, every year the performance of these cases and the safety of the Constitution of India is evaluated every year. 
by a team of CSIR NPL scientists. And that is how the historic document that underlies the democratic fiber of the Republic of India is being maintained and preserved for prosperity thanks to the scientific and technological inputs from the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, an organization that completes 80 years of dedicated service to the nation.